In our first story, the Ghana Union of Traders Associations has observed some foreigners are devising new strategies to engage in retail trading in Ghanaian markets. Guta chairman in the Ashanti region, Anthony Opon, says the foreigners are now taking their goods to the doorsteps of patrons, while others mount tabletops to sell. This comes after a government task force closed down shops of foreigners for not complying with the trade laws of the Ghana Investments Promotion Council. Nana Aljima has more in this report. The JIPC law prohibits foreigners from engaging in retail business unless they have an investment of $1 million and employ at least 50 locals. Non-compliance resulted in lockup of shops owned by foreigners, especially those operating in the Swami magazine enclave. Guta chairman in Ashanti region, Anthony Opon explains some affected shops have been opened following compliance to the laws. And since the closure, those people whose documents were, had expired by then have been given the opportunity to regularize themselves. I myself have opened about five shops here in Kumasi of those whose documents had expired by then. All those shops that are still under locks are those who have flattered, they don't, they don't have the state permit, they don't have the working permit, they don't have the GIPC re registration and all the necessary documents. Mr. Opon explains the foreign traders are perpetrating illegality in diverse forms. Guta wants the tax force to commence the second phase of the exercise, which seeks to enforce the regulations in other parts of the city. The exercise was supposed to flush out everybody operating illegally in our system. So we did the first phase because the time, because of time limit, we couldn't time constraints, we couldn't go through all. So we ended at some place, and we earmarked some other places we were supposed to go, which couldn't happen. So the second phase, to the best of my understanding, is supposed to start from where we left and cover the whole city. There are people operating now. We have some operating on bike, motorbikes. Some are distributing goods with distributing vans going as far as our villages to sell their goods. So as you go to Achen 4 Market, go to Alaba, go to Yachan School, you will see them displaying their goods in front of the lock shops. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima reporting.